Good day to my team of 144 and all star seeds, light workers, and way showers. Hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all for your support, your beautiful comments, and for your love and light. I appreciate each and every one of you. And to all the trolls and naysayers, I love you too. But if this information does not resonate with you, there's plenty of other things you can spend your time doing. You can go watch Britney Spears or Barack Obama or one of these other actors to distract you from the truth and the light. You know, my grandmother used to say, if you have nothing nice to say, Sonny, don't say anything at all. Because truthfully, where does negativity and negative energy, what is the purpose other than the repetitiveness and the mundane? It serves really very little purpose. Now people wonder, who am I, who is this Paul character to be giving out information of this transition and ascension. I'll give you a real quick summary. <laughs> In 1985, the world stopped for me. This avatar was 12 years old and a trauma occurred that my life passed before my eyes and from that moment forward, the last 30 years or more, I was on the razor's edge of life and death each moment in time, so there was no time to waste. <coughs> My foundation and roots were in Zen Buddhism. I trained with several Zen masters in temple and monastery. I've gone to shamans, healers, sages, sat at the foot of the gurus and the masters. I've trained with Qigong masters and Taoist masters. I trained with the Sifu, my Sifu in Mount Shasta and Sedona, and I teach his art, Sifu Max. Ching Fong Dao Shur. I teach his art, Kun Lun, which is K U N L U N, a Taoist art. Now, I don't call myself anything. I don't call myself a Taoist or a master. I'm no one's guru. I'm just here to transmit certain information and energy and light to my team and to all star seeds and light workers <coughs> now I've been transmitting other people's information lately because my time is very limited I still work full-time six sometimes seven days a week I'm also working on many projects and also putting time aside for my practices and meditations, my Nagong practices, Shen Gong. So I'm very limited on time. So I'm putting out what information I can at this time, but that will change very soon. I plan on doing some live events and some transmitting some of my own teachings and meditations, but right now I cannot do that. But very soon that will all change. So again, thank you all for watching my videos. In today's transmission, it is from Anna Merkaba, which is titled The Last Day to Jump, January 31st, 2019. Greetings, my beloved masters of the universe. It has been quite a while since I have contacted you last. Nearly two years have passed since our last communication, and what a whirlwind of turbulence these two years have been. I am sure that many of you can relate. The reason that I am reaching out to you today is because I am guided to give you an update and an explanation of what has been happening on this planet in the last few years and especially the last few weeks. You see, around 2015 I have received a message about the splitting of the two Earths. 
As you know, Earth has been transitioning to a higher dimension and has many have predicted has been separating into two different realities, that of the old frequencies of the dogmatic thinking and those of the new energies, energies of freedom and thought. The message was that we had seven years to finish everything up, assist the collective consciousness in moving on to a new plane of existence, and then jump onto the new Earth. The date was set for September 22, 2022. Many have been invited to leave the old Earth frequencies around that time, but most of you refuse to leave and instead you have voluntarily stayed connected to the collective consciousness of the old Earth in order to assist human souls in moving on to the new Earth. Once again, the date of the last jump was set for September 22, 2022. However, in 2016, everything changed. <clears throat> because a group of light beings have managed to infiltrate themselves into a very powerful positions, which <clears throat> allowed them to utilize the mass media to send various powerful, earth-shaking, and dogmatic thinking-shattering messages. Messages that no one could ignore and the whole world has been shaken to its very core. As it usually happens, the vibrations and the mass media messages were quite powerful and went completely against what the dogmatic thinking patterns of collective consciousness have been exposed to, which lead to a lot of resistance from the 90% of the population. And that is exactly what was needed to tip the scales and expedite the decision of each human soul to either stay with the old energies or move on to a new plane of existence, new earth. What has happened really was a massive purge of negativity, which shook this planet and created a whirlwind of tsunami-like energies that had no choice but to be released from the bodies of earthlings and earth itself. What this group has done was take it upon themselves to reflect all the negative range of emotions onto the collective consciousness and act as a mirror of source to showcase to all that things cannot continue the way that they were and much must change. <clears throat> that is the reason that so many have all of a sudden become unwell, especially in the light worker community. Not all of you that are listening to this to, uh, will resonate with this, but most of you can relate. The reason for so many changes in the last two years in many people's lives, various illness and seeming obstacles, was because for the human souls it was the final push to change their direction and turn to the light. And for light workers it was a time of stabilization. What we as light workers have been doing all this time was purifying earth energies by grounding all of this negativity onto the old earth. That is why so many have had to become grounded into the reality and be absolutely a hundred percent present in the now. Each moment you had to be conscious of with what was happening around you because you were literally working as filters. The other group of light workers have instead become beacons of light. With your powers of increasingly uh, trifold, you were able to perform miracles in your work because you were bringing in the light directly from source and infusing this light into those around you who were going through colossal changes. But going back to the message that I have received, because of the work that has been accomplished in these last two years, everything has sped up, and human souls as a collective have decided to move on to the new earth, to a new frequency and higher vibration, which has moved the last day to jump onto the new earth for light workers to January 31st, 2019. That is the reason that many are experiencing nostalgia at this time, a sort of mourning of their youth, days gone by, and seeming longing for the past. Even those who have never really cared about the past and were always looking towards the future have found themselves feeling those emotions. Others have all of a sudden become fixated on the idea of making a living will or restructuring their earthly possessions as if trying to make sure that when they are gone, their earthly possessions will go to the right hands. All of this has been happening because everyone on this planet are in the process 
or have already moved on to the new platform and were simply saying goodbye to their old selves. If you have been called to move to the new earth, to new earth frequencies, but were holding yourself back because you felt that you needed to assist those near and dear to you, please know that they have already moved on to a new platform on a subconscious level and are consciously moving on to the new port platform at this time. Their bodies are simply adjusting to the new energies, just like your bodies have adjusted upon your own awakening. There is no reason to be concerned that someone would be left behind, because as it looks from this point in time, no one will be left behind. Once again, I would like to remind you that your soul has already made the decision to transition to a new frequency, a new earth, a new platform, whatever you wish to call it, and this message is really for your conscious mind. I am told that if you are consciously ready, you can proceed with the jump whenever you wish. And if it so happens that you read this message post January 31st, 2019, or if you listen to this message after January 31st, be assured that you have made this transition already, even if you do not, did not do so consciously. Once again, this message serves more of an explanation of what has been happening for your conscious mind to comprehend what your body and your subconsciousness is doing. However, if you wish to consciously make the jump, you simply need to ask your guides, your higher self, your ascended masters, guardian angels, spirit guides, galactic family of light, the source, or whomever you feel most connected to, to assist you in doing so. Most of you will get an impulse to do so, and some of you will just need to say to yourself, or out loud, that you are ready to transition to a new plane of existence, to the new earth, to the new platform, new earth frequencies and vibrations with the rest of humanity. Once you make that transition, which for you should be instantaneous, many of you will be guided on what to do next. Mostly this will involve a change in direction and a more hands-on approach to assisting human souls in acclimating to their newfound bodies, just like you have in the past. It is going to be a very busy time, yet again for many of you, and you will be called once again to act actively participate in the ascension process. Because the ascension as a whole will continue happening for many years to come, to allow everyone an opportunity to proceed at their own pace. I would like to once again thank all of you for your tremendous effort that you have made throughout all this time. It's been a wild ride, but the future looks promising. Sending you a tsunami of love, light, peace and harmony and bliss, and happy new earth from Anna Merkaba. So once again, thank you all to my team, all star seeds, light workers, and way showers. Now these messages are for people with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. You know who you are, and you know from your heart to mine and to all light workers that we are on the new earth, and we are here now to assist all beings to realize this consciously. So be in the love and the light and the truth of the one source. Have a beautiful and blessed day.